Friday, I've just left work and kind of hoping the sun comes out at least for a bit because uh, it's bike night over at 1066 so uh, I'm heading over there. It's quite a trek, it's the uh, best part of a two hours ride from uh, where I work near Petworth. So um, yeah, we're heading over there, we mostly A272 over that way I reckon. Um, I've set the beeline anyway so we'll probably just follow that but uh, basically if we just go east we should uh, eventually get to the A21. So uh, yeah. That's the plan. So yeah, it'd be good to get over there for uh, a bike night. I've not been to uh, one of the one of their bike nights yet, so we'll see what it's all about and uh, see who else is going to turn up. I think Big Peasant said he might come down. Uh, we should see Hold Your Fire there, I reckon. I mean, he kind of works there, so um, yeah. Unless he's got the day off. Ah, well, this is rubbish. Traffic is a bit crap. Luckily, we have cheat mode, it's called owning a motorcycle. This is probably just everyone queuing up to get their Friday evening McDonald's. There was quite a queue there, they're either queuing for the petrol station or for the McDonald's. And looks like there's people aborting. That's an old one. Nice. Yeah, this 107 is changing their mind. They, they want out. There's people up ahead. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh, you. Why would you do that? I'm sat there without your indicator on this whole time. Now, now I'm over here. Don't want to be over here. Yeah, I think it was mostly queuing for McDonald's. <laughs> but yeah, I was knowing that car in front of me, he didn't have his indicator on. If it would have been indicating, I knew it would have been turning right and then I could have made oh I could have yeah. I could have done things differently. Never mind. But yes, people must be out of their minds to want to queue up for that sort of time for a mediocre bit of fast food. Whereas me, I'm preferring to travel nearly two hours for a much better meal. <laughs> I am enjoying the smell that is coming from this, uh, is it a Ferrari? I think it's a Ferrari, isn't it? It looks like a Ferrari badge. Yeah, I think it's Ferrari. It's very nice. It's classic. But it smells terrific. It just smells of... Is that... Is it leaded petrol? Might be. Not sure. I know you sort of have that distinct smell of uh, with leaded petrol. Yeah, it might just be leaded. Although I'm not, I'm not sure where, where the hell do you get leaded petrol these days? <laughs> I'll go ahead in a minute. We'll just enjoy this Ferrari for a little bit longer. Sounds good too. about an hour into the ride. Uh, weirdly the beeline, I did set it to fastest route. Uh, as much as I wanted to do the fun route, the fast route actually looked uh, better because uh, it was A272 and if I'd have known at the time the traffic would have been a bit bad I'd have probably chose the more fun route. Um, but yeah interestingly it's took me through Hayward's Heath rather than around it. Oh my god it's one of them stretch hummers. At least it's not pink. <laughs> Hideous things. Yeah, we've gone through Hayward Heath rather than around it, so uh, yeah. Not sure what that's all about, but apparently it's quicker, so uh, yeah. Fair enough. Of course, when you're in like towns and cities when there's lots of close, close together turns, the beeline's not so great for that. because it can't quite tell you quickly enough what you need to do. Whereas where you've got a normal sat-nav with a map, 
you, you can see the road layout so you know where you're going. But yeah, the B line, because you've got just the dot or the roundabout symbol, it's, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit uh, difficult to navigate with it. Especially if it's just like a simple case of a turn left, turn right at a junction, like immediately after one another, you might miss it, you might turn left, and by the time you've noticed it's only to turn right, you've already gone past the right turn. But yeah, for basic navigation, it's fine, and uh, it's quite neat and tidy, and uh, doesn't use so much battery power and stuff like that, so uh, can't complain, really. I do like it. Pulled over for a moment, because well, I thought we were getting near, uh, and then I turned a corner, and then we still got like 10 miles of this road to go before we turn right, so... Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit chilly, so I'm going to put an extra layer on, because I've only got a mesh jacket on today. thought it would be warmer, but uh, it's not, so yeah, this is basically just like riding in a t-shirt, really. It's nice and cool, with the bonus of having all the uh, protective bits, but uh, yeah, it's a bit cool this evening, so uh, yeah, getting a bit chilly, so let's layer up. Right, that should be hopefully a bit better. I've just put the, I've got my Triumph waterproof liner from my Triumph jacket, uh, and just put that over the top of uh, the mesh jacket. So it should at least keep more of the wind out, and it just adds a layer. So it should be a little bit warmer in this at least. So I oh, I, I almost turned my heated grips on, but I thought no, I, I cannot turn my heated grips on in June. That's just not on. That's not acceptable. <laughs> Maybe if it was like raining or something that would be acceptable. <laughs> right, onwards. And that is the off-road section complete. <laughs> oh there, that is instantly better. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the wind's not cutting through me so much anymore. Oh, we're here. There's J.W. Groombridge here, Royal Enfield. Yes, okay, now I know where we are. Yeah, I realise now that, yeah, I, I know it's still, it's still uh, a little bit of a way to go. Right, don't think there's much further to go. Uh, we're now off the main road and we're onto the interesting roads that the B-Line thinks is best, so uh, let's see where it goes. I think I remember this part of this road, I'm sure. Google Maps took me back home this way one time. In fact, it's like one of the first times I uh, went over to 1066. <laughs> we haven't finished this road yet. Yeah, it's 20 past seven now. So yeah, nearly two hours, but I think by the time we get there, it would have been two hours. So yeah, it's quite, quite a trek uh, to go for a bike night after work on a Friday evening. Because uh, yeah, by the time we get there, we'll be able to have a bite to eat, then it'll be, uh, yeah, time to leave so I can get home, so I'm not late getting home, or well, not too late getting home. <laughs> That's a fun little road though, I do like it. Roberts Bridge, one mile! So yeah, not far to go at all. Well, here we are. Here's the A21. So it's just down the road from here. Well, here we are. It's half seven. That's bang on two hours. the space I'll do. Right, see if Pez is here or anyone else you know. There they are. Sixty one miles. <laughs> okay, well uh 
<laughs> one of the last people to leave. Uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good bite night. Uh, they have a band on in the garden, just round the corner there, which is good. Uh, yeah, had a nice chicken burger and a good catch up with uh, Sam and Sean in Conquerors. Uh, we saw Big Pezza, so uh, yeah, it's been a good evening. And uh, luckily, the rain has held off that's due, but I'm probably going to hit that on the way home. But no, very good evening. Uh, glad I came. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a, th a very good atmosphere here. I'm not sure what it. I can't put my finger on what it is, but I don't know. I, ju I just prefer it here to some of the other cafes that we go to without naming any particular ones. <laughs> the Lumis. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, ten, Route 1066 Cafe on the A21. Do come on down, there it is, look. I was going to take the fun route back, but I decided that uh, I'll just stick to the quick way, especially, uh, especially as I'm a bit late leaving, so... Well, I don't know how much you can see, but uh, we've, we've hit some rain. What are we on? 10 past 10. Which is about what the weather app predicted, actually. And we, I know I'll be uh, heading towards the rain, so this was inevitable. Shouldn't be too bad. I've still got at least an hour to go. It's, uh, yeah, just over an hour to go, I think. I'm not quite sure exactly where I am. Once we get to uh, a certain point, I'll know, uh, I'll know that I'm an hour away. But we're not got there yet, so uh, we shall see. Okay, it's, start, oh, it's starting to get heavy now. Yep, definitely going to get soaked now. Okay, the A27's closed. Now oh, this diversion is going to add a bit of time. Hope it shouldn't be too bad this time of night. Uh, right, update. Yeah, jeans. I am. Um, well, my jeans are wet through. My gloves are a bit wet. Uh, and just coming out on the A27, uh, crossing the river at Shoreham, uh, it's the River Ada. Is Ada or Ada? I can't remember. A-D-U-R, that one. Uh, hell of a crosswind. I've never experienced a crosswind that bad before. I've had, you know, well, I've rode in w plenty of windy conditions that blow you about within your lane, but it's easy to manage. This one took me by surprise. It blew me out of the lane. And then, so I was... Um, yeah, I was in right-hand lane. It blew me into the left-hand lane. Luckily, I'd already overtaken the vehicle that was in the left-hand lane. Yeah, so it blew me into the left-hand lane, and then it changed completely and blew me back out to the right. It was madness. Anyway, it's 20 to 11, I'm nearly home. Uh, yeah, I'll be home in 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I reckon. Uh, yeah, what a nice evening other than the weather. <laughs> Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I will leave the video there. It, oh, if you, by the way, if you're wondering why I put a video up on the uh, the New Forest Big, Big Peasants Patreon New Forest camping trip from last weekend, uh, it's because I messed up with my audio. I hadn't got my microphone plugged in properly. So, sort of the first half of the day, or the, of the day one, is all, yeah, unusable. So, uh, I haven't figured out how I'll make that video yet, so I'll uh, look into it and get a video up at some point. But yeah, I'll still do one, I think. I'll try my best. But yeah, most of my audio is unusable, so it'll probably have to be uh, voiceovered or musicised or something, I don't know yet. So I'll get that edited and uploaded as soon as I can. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.